In this video, we're going to go over how to have a coupon automatically apply when the conditions are met on your WooCommerce store. For example, with Black Friday coming up, I want to do a promotion where if someone spends $50 or more, we're going to give a 20% off discount. But I don't want to have people have to find a coupon code to use. I want to just to apply for all products on my site. So how do I set this up? How do I do this? Well, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard then I'm going to go to marketing coupons and I'm going to add a new coupon called, you know, BF 2021 and it's going to be a percentage discount for 20% off. And I want to do a usage restriction of minimum spend of 50. Awesome. So right now I want to have this applied to all my products on the site but you could add specific products that you want to add only for that coupon or exclude products, etc. And with that, I'm going to come back here and I'm not going to add a coupon expiry date, but you could add, you know, Black Friday if you wanted to. I'm just going to erase that for now. So I'm going to publish my coupon. And now if I go to back to the front end of my site and I add all five of those products, and if I add, you know, light roast, medium roast, dark roast, French roast, decaf, etc. So if I come to my cart right now, you can see that no coupon has been applied. And I could even, you know, add the coupon if I wanted to, but that's what we're trying to avoid. So how do we have it auto apply? Well, we need to go to plugins, add new, and we need to upload the WooCommerce smart coupons plugin. And that link can be found in the description box below. So after installing the plugin, and activating the plugin. If I come back to my coupons right here, I can see that there is an option to auto apply the coupon. So if I auto apply this and I click update and I come back to my cart and I refresh it, you can see that this coupon automatically applied, right? Because the conditions are met and there's a minimum of you know $50 to spend. Awesome, so we have that. But now I wanna add another promotion where if someone spends $100 or more, they're gonna also get a free coffee grinder. So this, this thing right here, this free coffee grinder, usually retails for $25, but um, we're giving them to free if they spend over $100, which would be a huge win for Charlie's Coffee because the average order total is like $35 or something. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and I'm gonna add a new coupon. I'm just gonna call this like BF Grinder. And I'm gonna do a usage restriction. And I'm gonna, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this auto apply. And then I'm gonna do a usage restriction tab. I'm gonna put minimum spend a hundred dollars and make sure to keep this individual use only checkbox unchecked and then usage limits right now i'm not going to put any usage limits on the coupon but you could do something like the first 100 people to spend a hundred dollars or more on your store during black friday get the coffee grinder so go get the coffee grinder quick in your email or whatever you want to do so right now in this actions tab i want to do after applying the coupon, also apply the coffee grinder with a discount of, you know, I could just do 100%. I'm gonna say, yay, you earned a free coffee grinder. And I can also put this in the email if I wanted to. Awesome. And I'm going to publish this coupon called BF Grinder. And remember, this coupon will work because it's going to be auto applied when the usage or the minimum spend is $100. And I'm going to publish this. Awesome. So now if I come back to my cart, right, we have this coupon applied. And now I am just going to, you know, update these quantities. You know, we're at 70. Awesome, and now we got to 100, and I can see up here, right? But if I scroll back down, I can see Coffee Grinder's been added to your cart. 
and it's gonna be you know zero dollars and it's gonna automatically apply one for them and then the customer can you know check out and go through that whole process and i just want to show you guys just going through this checkout process because i know you know maybe just showing on the card you know you need to see the whole thing so i'm just gonna quickly go through that so let's say i go proceed to check out and if i you know go through this order i can see the coupon was applied the you know for the grinder was applied as well and if i place my order i can see that you know the coupon was applied successfully and yeah it creates an order in the back end if i go to my woocommerce orders you know i can see everything about this order and the exact coupons that were applied um, down here so that's it for the tutorial if you guys got value out of this make sure you give me a like give me that thumbs up and i recently did a video on how to enable free shipping with all woocommerce subscription products as well as a video about how to set an exact coupon expiry date so make sure to check those out and as always have a great rest of your day and crush black friday